in this initial verse, um, which I won't explain in detail, but um, I, I think the interesting part of it is about giving. Okay. And um, in the on Tuesday, there was this book study. Um, Brother Robert, I think you were there, right? Uh, no, no, I was not there. You sorry. There. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was not there. Um, Sister Stephanie was there. And, but yes. I, I think, is Brother Chris Chu in today? Uh, Brother Chris. Uh, I, I thought he raised Martin. a very interesting question. Um, and his question was this Is giving, does giving nullify greed? And there was a question uh, he, he, he asked uh, to the, uh, the elder sister who, who gave uh, the talk. Uh, but interesting, but since he's not here, then I will leave the discussion maybe to, to another time when he's here. And there was the question, uh, does giving uh, resolve greed? Um, then so about this master's explanation, and here about charitable giving out of love is like a study ship living across the sea. So then you ask ourselves, what is it that we are giving? Uh, I think um, you all know that, oh, when, when I gave, I, you know, I help the others and things like that. I gave away my greed and uh, give away all my um, whatever uh, that you have. Um, I, I think, I think it, to me, I think this is a very uh, profound uh, practice. And, um, but when you come to apply in my life, uh, it's not as straightforward as what we think it is about giving. Uh, otherwise, it would not be in the first parameter, okay? Um, so what I'm trying to say is that we need to dwell quite deep uh, into this virtue of giving to really embrace that into our life and embracing that giving into our life um, is number first thing is you want to embrace that accept your life first and that on its own people find great difficulty in doing to accept your life as it is um, and even after accepting the life as it is to actually then let your life flow. And that part of it to, to, to accept Allah, because a lot of us start the question as to why things are like as it is, and so on and so forth. But if life is then accepted uh, as it is, then you have given away all that is those questions. Right? So it's not just about, oh, I'm, I'm just helping out and things like that. So I, that's why I say that a part of it, what is it that give, that's giving, what is it that you are offering, what are you giving away uh, in that life? Um, and this a, it's a huge topic of discussion. So giving is a study should. Um, now, obviously, when, when one give, one always was giving away and, um, and one always that we're letting go, we're letting go of our impurities, right? So, uh, so Pastor mentioned about our human body, and our human body is impure. There's imbalances of all elements. And um, I, I, I didn't know this, but must say that our body is subject to 404 Ill, types of ailments. So, and, um, and, and, and this is just interest, interesting like that. There are many professions that the world can do without, but we cannot do without field of med, uh, medicine. So, so there, there, there goes my accountancy profession. Uh, um, and um, and actually, my, my my first ambition was to become a, a medical doctor, but um, somehow when I went to form form six to study, I was streamed to the biology class, um, and I spent half the year learning about about my teeth, so I got a bit bored as at that time. So that's why I thought I went to the accountancy profession, which turned out to be even more boring than medicine. So the skill of healing is to follow the principles. And I think the interesting part about um, what Master mentioned was that it's also that when we need healing, there needs to be an affinity between the patient and, and the doctor. Uh, I, I think in some ways, it's the same thing with the Dharma. And the Dharma, when you encounter that, that affinity that one has uh, with the Dharma, not only with the Dharma, 
and also with the teacher. And then that is the one that connects through. And these seeds that have been planted um, would obviously would have been planted a uh, lifetime ago. But more important also uh, in this lifetime that we more goes among the masses is to plant uh, that seed of goodness um, in others um, so that they, they can also uh, help to germinate that seed of goodness. And uh, those who have lost their blessings because they have those evil retributions, they do not have the protection of blessing and so have no one and nothing to rely upon. So they may study worldly skillful work or study Buddha's way and may attain something, but then lose it again. And that's because of the hindrances um, that one has um, in learning. But obviously this have to go through that period. And this that's what I mean by, can one accept life is? Um, because if one can't even go through that first stage of life is uh, giving, it's not easy. So lessons learned. When we listen to the Dharma, why can't we take it to heart? Because we don't practice enough in the past. So therefore, you find that that is indeed a difficulty, and we got to make those great efforts in this life. Uh, so in con conclusion, in loving the Buddha's way, we must be mindful, we must begin to create blessings right now. So even though, therefore, we see that we are lacking in the past, we create right now. Because those blessings that those who are um, and those of you who actually cultivated uh, a lot, you probably realize, and if you contemplate on your life, you will be able to able to see and experience past blessings. And they come in two ways. Either they come as a spiritual reward, or two, they come in the form of spiritual treasure in this life, they will assist you. So in contemplation, the rope that is worn in this life is made from the past. And the rope is the life that we have on our um, master mentioned use of, uh, I think in a in the text, it used about garment. So, so the rope that is worn in this life is made from the past. In time, the rope will wear out as your life fades. Therefore, tailor your life with the adornment of the Dharma to make the rope for the next life. And that is adorned by the jewels of the Dharma. So to which what Master was saying to sing. If we, we create the blessing in this life, if you have slacking in this life, we've got to create it. So we need to now start tailoring the rope for the next life. So that will be blessed with the spiritual rewards and treasures, which is the food that was mentioned about the blessings of the path to continue with the advancement and ascension of the spiritual progress. So on relationship and householder relationship, do not waste this life just being an ordinary householder. The life is ordinary, but precious. Our life is ordinary, we're just an ordinary householder, but precious. So we need to understand my impression and make this ordinary life extraordinary. My tourist indeed is the life you have. Rare indeed is encountering the Dharma. Extraordinary indeed is the life of practice of an ordinary householder in practice. And that has always been my guiding light um, in all my past 30 over years. So live the exemplary life of a spiritual aspirant. Okay, Kanan brothers and sisters, thank you. Kanan, Kanan. Our doctor, I mean, even though you're not a medical doctor, but you still have the doctor, brother. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you so much for your wonderful sharing. Yeah. Okay, can we uh, all uh, on our video? I will take a group photo before we allow Brother Chin and uh, Sister Kathleen to leave us. Welcome, Sister Janice, uh, our youngest uh, aspirant or practitioner. Hi, morning. Morning. Morning to all and morning to Eun Sing. Is it Eun Sing? Ah? Hi. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, brother. Yeah, thank you. Of... Okay, you maybe we can get Sister Yeni to share before she send the son to school. Sister Yeni, over to you. Uh, okay, good morning, brother and sister. Uh, this episode, right, I think the story is very interesting for me. So it's really... Uh, 
prove that that giving or offering is a study shape for uh, what a study uh, just a jungle shape to ensure that we can cross the cross the river or sea yeah, to the overseas Tui An. So um actually this morning I shared this story with my husband. And then um and his response to me is uh, I a bit quite surprised. Uh. He said, Oh now I I know uh I'm wondering why I will, this life I treat you so good and nice because maybe you, you treat me so good in the past life. <laughs> then actually for him, he, uh, he actually is Christian and my, my in-law families are Christian actually. So he don't believe in uh, being born and all these things. I, I tried to um, share with him a few stories before but he just uh, know, know the, not so responsive. And he said, oh, uh, uh, because he don't believe in reborn uh, and just believe in science and this thing like that. So this morning when I shared with him this story, he, he suddenly gave me this response. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so um, I really um, realized and um, get the teaching from this story is um, because we have to believe in the law of karmic and conditions. We did not know what we did. Uh, we do not know what we did in the past past life, and we know that actually it's accumulate, and we have to repair. And so, so that's why we really need to do good in this life. Since we know and realize about the law of karmic, and uh, just give the offering, uh, and help whenever that we able to do it. So that uh, to ensure that we uh, the the karmic is not carry forward too much lah. So yeah, this is the uh, sharing I get yeah. from the story. Yeah, and so, yeah. so much yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, next can we have uh, Sister Li Chu to share? Morning, Sister Li Chu. Oh, yes, morning, brother Robert. Morning, morning brothers morning. and sisters. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I was uh, referring to uh, brother Chin's uh, remark. Uh, let the life flow. Yeah. Let the, the uh, whatever comes in our life, let it flow. Uh, take life the next or, or even today. It is a surprise and a gift day for us to cultivate our blessings. So sometimes take our life as a surprise, you know, things can just happen. The, the things are just impermanence and all that. It's a surprise and uh, go with the flow. And uh, yeah, talk about doctors. Uh, we are all doctors. Uh, you notice we are all doctors. Uh, we actually, we got a blessing to heal the, you know, sometimes with uh, kind words and gentle words, uh, we can help others to heal their, you know, sometimes in their, they, they are having the, 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 the challenges or their sufferings. Uh, with kind words and gentle words, we can actually help another person. Uh, some, I make use of, try to make use of master's aporism. Master words of aporism is very, very uh, universal. You, you can approach to any uh, uh, outside, uh, uh, other people. Uh, doesn't matter what religion or any race. You can make use of uh, master's uh, words of wisdom. Okay, it's nothing to do with religion. It's just words of wisdom. Okay, that's my uh, sharing today, Kanan. Yeah, Kanan. Kanan to our Dr. Lee Chu. Yeah, Kanan so much yeah, for sharing. Uh, okay, next, uh, then we have uh, Sister Moon to share. Morning and welcome back, Sister Moon. <laughs> Where did you disappear? Uh, a lot of things because, uh, you know, we are celebrating my uh, my grandson's full moon. So there's a lot of things to, okay. small yes. party to organize, not, not, not relatives gathering <laughs> okay. to celebrate the event. So tired a bit, <laughs> so <laughs> not so very diligent. Yeah. Uh, today, you know, it 
really, uh, uh, there are two things that really strike me. And one is that so many ways to look at a, an, an action, you know, like the, the story of the, the orphan, right? Uh, to, that people will say, hey, you know, uh, I mean, it's how we look at things, right? He's being so kind, and yet, you know, he's rewarded with death, you know, in such a manner, somehow, you know, you can die, but die in, by falling into a latrine, you know? So uh, without a, a good understanding of Dharma, a lot of these things is very, very hard for the uh, lay people to understand the, the reason behind such things. And then, uh, you know, they come to a, we, we, are, we tend to come to a, a wrong conclusion and we say, no, uh, in that case, uh, why should we bother to do so much good, isn't it? Because we are not going to be rewarded anyway. Uh, so I think that uh, when we understand the Dharma by, you know, uh, those of us who are fortunate enough, uh, we are able to see beyond this uh, uh, and uh, really these are the things that, these are stories that we, have to share with uh, as many people as possible because you know this this will help to change the way they think. It's entirely on opposite poles, you know, uh, that he's liberated against you know doing good things, don't getting uh, a good reward. And the other thing that uh, I, I find so true is the the doctors, the doctors today especially. Um, I think that there is a lot of doctors who give up ethics, right? When they become doctors, they take a, 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 an, an oath, an oath to cure irrespective of, of race, irrespective of wealth, irrespective of everything. But the reality down the line in our society today is that wealth for the doctors is very, very important. I guess it is also due to the reason that a lot of money is needed to train a doctor, right? So, uh, yeah, so that is the reason why now I am very careful about choosing doctors. Uh, I think recommendations come uh, not for nothing. And the recommendations for good doctors, uh, why are they good and why people go to them? I guess now it is precisely for the reason that uh, Master has explained that some of these doctors, they do have a lot of Dharma, whether they know it or not. Uh, and that's why they have this affinity for people. And, they, and we describe it in layman's term as, for me, as bedside manners. Some doctors have very good bedside manners. In, the, in, in other words, they have empathy. They, they talk to you nicely. You feel straight away that this doctor cares about you. So 50% of your, your, your illness goes out the door, you know, with, with yeah. such doctors, right? And then you're, you have such confidence and you feel such care from the doctor that the mental part of the problem is already gone. So it's only the physical part of the problem that the doctor has to treat. So today I am very, very aware of such things when I choose doctors. Uh, uh, and this, today's uh, uh, lesson, is really a confirmation of why it is important uh, that this affinity thing we must we cannot disregard. Even if you want to disregard it, you cannot disregard, yeah? Uh, a good a good lesson today, Kanan. Yeah, Kanan, Kanan so much. Yeah, with uh, Master Moon, that this Yi Yun, Yi Yi Yun, is very very important for us to have uh, prolonged good health. Yeah, uh, Kanan so much. Okay, next can we have uh, Brother Chris to share? Brother Chris, just now Brother Chin was calling out for you. Brother Chris, are you able to share? Uh, yeah, good morning, everyone. Yeah, it's a bit late uh, this yeah, morning. No worries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I only uh, listened to the later part of it. Uh, what I can uh, associate uh, with uh, is that uh, what, we, what we study uh, what we try to study, as what Master says, 
doesn't uh, necessarily uh, mean that we can fully uh, understand what we study. Even listening to the Dharma, it really needs uh, uh, blessings and affinities to be able to uh, even understand uh, the teachings. Uh, same goes with our uh, uh, academic uh, uh, learning as well. Because uh, it reminds me of my, my elder son. You know, uh, in secondary school, he has been doing well. But suddenly when he goes into a college and uh, mixed with a, a group of uh, rich uh, kids uh, that don't even need to study and uh, they can be supported for the rest of their life. So with this type of influence, you know, from, uh, from his uh, past uh, karma or, or affinity, you know, he couldn't even finish his study. So this is, uh, this is how life is. Uh, so as, uh, it also reminds me of the thing uh, that Sister uh, Moon uh, mentioned, mentioned about doctors. Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, you know, I always remember what my parents, uh, they always choose to go to one particular doctor or another doctor. That's it. There are so many doctors around. Why they have to go to that doctor? You know, and then you have to catch a bus and so on to go and see the doctor. It says the doctor, uh, actually you go and see the doctor, the one in Pusing. Uh, you just go and see him. You don't even need to take the medicine and then you can be better, better already. Not like other doctors. So always go and see the doctor. So now with master's uh, explanation, I, I, I do understand you know, how this situation can come about. So in, uh, in applying to our own, uh, our own life, we have to be uh, very uh, careful with what, the, what we do because no man is an island. We interact with everybody, a lot of people every day. So our, our conduct and our character and what we do makes a lot of difference to other people. So we always have to be very self-conscious uh, that we don't pass on the wrong uh, you know, uh, message uh, the, uh, or become a wrong model to other people. Okay, that's my little bit of uh, sharing. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Yeah.